So I've just spoken to 40 to pile up the aspiring him. We're going to get up there to start breakfast. He said get out there as soon as we can. There's a, it's clear at the moment, but the, the windows are shortening by the minute. So we're going to get up there ASAP and try and get something done this morning. Pretty optimistic. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. I think we can get something done. Forty's pretty, pretty optimistic as well. There's heaps of snow on the ground, like when we left Cadrona Pub, even this morning. And there's a fresh new snow line on the mountains. Well, given the forecast, they reckon this low that's on us at the moment is the size of Australia. So it's, um, you know, we have had a clearance this morning briefly. So we just need one more of them, and we'll be into it. It's just holding out, but if it changes, if the wind picks up and this weather comes in, we've it's not going to happen for us, so we have to look at a plan B. So I'm a little bit concerned about it. I think uh, we've got a patch of blue sky coming through now, so uh, we'll gear up and uh, yeah, see what we can do. Sounds good. No worries. Okay. Got a window now. It's a cloud starting to clear, so it's all go. Uh, due to the uh, skiing in the middle of a storm, we have to stick to the flatter slopes because of avalanche danger, but uh, it's still nice being out here and it makes you feel certainly um, insignificant when you're in these big mountains. To, um, to the wide open. It's incredible. We've done it. Getting it done. Getting it done. Epic. Fresh powder. It's a great day. Off to the cannons and off some waves. We had some great snow and some good turns, so nice to see aspiring helicopters getting the job done, mate. Thank you very much. Good on you. Yeah, good luck. Cheers. In Alexandra, halfway through day five, just the surf to go. We hear there's a lot of snow on the road, cars sliding off the roads, and the surf's massive. So the adventure begins now. No better way to end it than to have uh, um, powder barrels on the beach. Maybe we can get some turns on our skis in the sand, that'd be really nice too. With the finish line in sight, a 10 year storm just had to hit Invercargill, closing roads and causing absolute chaos. Heavy snow caved in the roof of Stadium Southland, causing millions of dollars worth of damage. The storm also stranded locals, closed roads and shut Invercargill Airport before moving up the country. Well, it's quite bad for Invercargill. It's probably once every 10 or 15 years we get a decent dump like this. Uh, we're in Gore and it's snowing. Um, I, I, I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, I've signed up, haven't I? There's no turning back now. I said I'd surf and ski every day for five days and got no choice. <laughs> this is what happens in Gore. This is just a usual afternoon in Gore. Are we going surfing? Are we really going surfing? Let's go! I've closed the road. So we can't get there. Our plan of surfing in the Catlins has been scrapped and we're just hoping to get through to Riverton without any closures. We're so close but yet so far away. Yeah, it should be fun. Hopefully there's a bit of snow on the beach as well. 
so cold, man. <laughs> it's absolutely freezing. My hands are numb and my feet are numb. I haven't even touched the water yet. Mental, in a word. It is so cold. Maru, did you meet Maru? Mate, local fella. He's just gone out with no booties and no gloves. Seriously, hey. What is that guy on about? He was saying that there's been snow here in 10 years. I was in my snowboard pants and thermals before, suiting up in my wetsuit, and I was freezing. All in all, it's looking like we are going to achieve our goal. and it's windy and when I paddled out at the start it was hailing a big ball bearing hail so it hitting me on the snout. Yeah, surreal. Oh, pretty sure I paddled into some icebergs out there. And then I saw a big seal and a walrus and penguins, penguins and polar bears and You don't wear booties mate. No. <laughs> Can't feel my surfboard if I wear booties. Yeah. No, she's all good. We were sitting at Cape Rianga five days ago, northernmost point of New Zealand, and now we're here. It's pretty crazy. I'm stoked. I've never been here before, so that's cool. And what an accomplishment. We've done the whole country. It's just like goodbye pork pie or something. Actually, to be honest, I did have my doubts about making it. Yeah, far out. I can't believe, I, I can't believe we've done it. I can't believe it's, 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 uh, we, we made it happen. We've basically ended up with one of the biggest storms, I think, in living memory, well, it's certainly mine. And we've just tried to navigate it as, as best that we could. It's a bit of a blur now, but I suppose we have a bit of time to reflect and it may be something we tell the grandkids about in many years. Cheers. Cheers. Here we are. Cape Rianga, 1,400 clicks north. That's meaty, eh? That's very meaty. Um, so what next? <laughs>